Hi everyone, it's your girl, Hey Planner Girl. Hey, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you a quick flip of my Hobonichi Weeks, which I'm gonna keep in my purse. So grab a snack and come on back and I'll show you what's inside. Hello everyone. So I know this is looking a little sketchy. I have to fix the band. I have to make an actual like planner band, but these are some bracelets from Dollar Tree that I've had. Um, I think I'm gonna DB them and I can use this as a band around my Hobonichi Weeks. This is the 2023. It is just the regular weeks, not the mega. Um, sorry if my, like, you know, categorizing this is out of whack because this is my first Hobonichi Weeks, I have to say. So I got it on Poshmark. I paid about $70 Canadian with shipping and taxes. Um, it came with the cover. I know on Amazon I probably could have gotten it cheaper, but I was loving this lilac iridescent cover. Um, to me, it's iridescent. And then it has a little bit of pink, um, what do you call it, like embossing there. So this um, die cut is from Honey Bee Shop, and this one is from Shine Sticker Studio. I'm going to show you what's inside. And yeah, I hope, um, you know, I don't want it to get chunky, so... Let's see what's inside. This pen is from a store in Toronto. Sorry, I forgot the name, but it was pretty cute and it's purple and it matches with the planner. So I got that. Inside, here, let's zoom in. Inside is, you know, I was debating if I should washi the background. I don't know. I still might, can, could, whatever. Uh, actually, no, I can't. Why? Because this is permanently stuck down. <laughs> and this is not permanently stuck down. There's a little bit of tape behind it. And I love this little die cut from the Honey Bee Shop. And she's just sitting there. I think I actually have her stuck down so she doesn't move or fly away. I love this planner cart, again, from the Honey Bee Shop. I don't know what I'm going to put in between... But, you know, I understand this says 2020, but I love it so much. I might put a star over it. Okay, this is going to be my name page. I'm going to write my name, Candace. I'm not sure what stickers I'm going to use, but we'll see. This is obviously from Shine Sticker Studio. A little um, narrow holographic washi to kind of, you know, blur in the lines if it wasn't put on even, e like, if it wasn't put evenly. My year at a glance, I plan on covering up this whole page. I have no idea what I'm going to do here. I've been looking at Sweet Quiet Designs, and their shop is pretty stellar. I'm going to maybe take a look at what I can do here. Over here, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm definitely going to write birthdays here. Or if I cover this up as a full sticker, birthdays for sure. Because this Hobonichi Weeks is going to stay in my purse. For sure. This is like my running grocery list to-do list because I was walking around with like really cute note paper. Um, for some reason, I cannot seem to like here's one note paper like this and I would just end up losing it or it would fall out of my jacket pocket. And then I'm like, gosh, now everybody need, needs to know I need paper towel. You know what I mean? So uh, this way I'm going to keep it in a book. Hopefully I don't lose the book. <laughs> Over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe a like, you know, a Shark Week tra tracker, a monthly tracker. Um, maybe a mood tracker. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe how many times I spend. You know what I mean? Maybe I can do that. Like how many times do I pull up my credit card or I'm on PayPal? Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, maybe. And over here is my December monthly spread because this actually starts December 2022. Now, I said something that I wasn't going to do. I said this is going to be a very minimal planner. No washi, no stickers, not a lot of that jazz. But as you can see, it has turned into a little bit of maybe too much washi, maybe too many stickers. And I know people are probably like, you can never have too many stickers. I get that, but I don't want this to chunk up in my purse. I want it to be nice and tiny, and it won't irritate me when it's in my purse. So 
that's my December. Here's my January. It's my birthday month. My birthday's on the 3rd. I can't wait. And then here is so far what my week of a glance is looking like. Like, again, I just want to keep it pen and paper. And then for the Christmas week, as you can see, um, I did use a lot of stickers. And then the following week, I'm like, I got to chill with the stickers. So that's the plan. Just paper, pen, very, very simple. And then I want to take you guys to my notes pages. So on my notes pages, I have some washi here. Um, and then there's some abbreviations. I don't know if I'm going to fill out the page number and like what's there, but I'm going to show you guys what I have planned. So over here, and I know it's a little vain, but I am going to post my numbers for Instagram followers, YouTube followers, and this washi, I know it's hard to tell, but it has one to 12, which is the months. Um, this washi only goes up to one to 12, one to 12. So Every month, I'm just going to write how many followers I had on Instagram, how many I had on the YouTube. So I think that works really well. Over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I love this washi, again, from Paper Geek Co. And here are some discount codes. Now, this is where I want to talk to you guys. Beautiful washi from Papery Love. This, you guys, game changer. So I did this in my A6. And I love, if you have a label maker, friends, okay, I'm not saying go out and buy one, but I mean, if you have one laying around, use it in your planner. It's not just for your pantry to look like Khloe Kardashian's. That's literally why I bought this. Um, so this is, I think it's nine millimeter. It's black on clear. And it's of the brother. It's uh, the P-Touch D. D2210. So I just go to font in case you guys are wondering. Go to font and then I pick Florida's font. But then you have to go to, I think it's style. Yep, style and go to outline. Because, I mean, you could do shadow or any of the other ones, but I think the just the regular outline is perfect. And then what you get is this. And then you can add some emojis and then it looks really good. So I'm just gonna back it up. So here are some discount codes. Papery Love, in case you want a discount code, it's a one-time code, it's Welcome 10. I love this store, it's on Etsy. I hope they don't mind me sharing, it's 5% off. And over here, same thing. This is from, I think it's Kells Creations, the washi, in case you're curious. So more discount codes. So two pages of discount codes. And then over here, I have done a gift list. This is old school Planner Society washi. It is beautiful bows that are dripping. And so the first one is gift list. I'm, I kind of regret putting it on the washi um, because it kind of, I mean, I can see it, but yeah. So husband, like a page of gifts. So, you know, for anniversary or birthday or Christmas or, you know, a work event or whatever. So that's that. Over here, some family gifts. I know you're like, that is so small. Well, I have, we have a very small family, um, at least on my side. And so, and my parents do not want anything. So, um, this is just any ideas and then over here is people co-workers bosses and if I need another page I can make another page um, Over here on this side is my wish list So I've designated four pages for that just in case But yeah, if I need more pages for gifts you guys I'm gonna show you at the end how many note pages are left um, Over here. I have designated ten pages for any Amazon Etsy um what do you call it? Poshmark, eBay orders, uh, or any stores, any sticker shops or anything. And so I have 10 pages designated with that. As you can see, I stopped washing the bottom. And then I don't think I'm going to wash you the whole thing. And I don't think I'm going to designate all the pages. Sorry about that. So I don't know if I'm going to designate all these pages for orders. 
but I kind of stopped using the label. So again, if I need to go back and make a gift list, I can do that. And then check this out, friends. Look at how many note pages are left. I know you're probably like, what? This is quite a bit of note pages. Like, look at that. That's a ton of pages left for notes. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to make this gratitude because I have my own little gratitude a6 techo which i will show you guys on my channel and i'm not gonna make it any like work stuff this is literally grocery list to-do list chores um maybe i can do that maybe i can make a chores list i'm gonna write that down maybe like chores or like a simple weekly go to meals like, you know, you can never go wrong with mac and cheese kind of thing. Um, maybe, maybe like monthly or yearly goals. Like one of my goals, I know it's a little superficial, but like after the pandemic, I barely went to the mall. I was super about online shopping. I mean, I'm not talking about standalone brick and mortar shops like H&M um, or like HomeSense or Winners or Marshalls, but like actually going into a mall, you know, that's something that I had a goal to go like five times. I think I only went three out of the five in 2020. So maybe I'll do that. Okay. And so I'm just going to put that off to the side. And then I, I added some more washi here. And then I really like this measuring thing. I thought that was so sick. I am going to do some my favorite restaurants that if we go to my 100. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I don't know. Maybe like my top 100 TV shows or movies that I watch. Or I don't know. We'll see favorite things I can't wait to do this and then there's some conversation stuff I love that this is in the English by the way because my cousin is in the Japanese version and so is my a6 techo and then my 365 days check off sheet I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I might just check off the, the days just because and then I have a little address book here and then my contact page and then there's the Hobonichi social media over here I'm not sure what I'm gonna do um, I'm going to show you what I did in my AVEC. <clears throat> so every time I finished a sticker sheet from Pipsticks, I took their little flags and I put them here. Of course, I threw out so many, so a lot of them are missing. Um, but I, it, I don't know. It was like satisfaction. <laughs> I might do something like that here. And then at the back, I have a little bat bow um, bookmark. And... It's a little secretarial pocket. Just, I don't know. I just had some washi laying around. Not washi, a little tab. So this is my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, so far, so good. I think it looks cute. I really want to redo this band, but I love the stars. Um, or maybe I should keep it that way. I just don't want to ruin anything like the side of the book or anything like that. So... There you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video of my Hobonichi weeks. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Just a little preview of what I plan to have in my purse. And like I said, it's going to have grocery lists and to-do lists, so I love that. Anyways, friends, happy planning, happy stickering, and I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Bye!